Ciao, soccer fans, and welcome to the Italian Soccer Attic broadcast. My name's Graziano, and I'm your host. Week 15 in Serie A saw some very interesting results and some crazy numbers that explain those results. So, this week is all about the numbers. Let's get our abacus and crunch them. The first number we're gonna talk about is the number zero, as you can tell by my guests this week, as my sidekick Jim is on Puppy Patrol. Take a look at this picture and you tell me who's the puppy here. This week in Serie A saw seven of the 10 games played ending in a zero scoreline. I haven't seen so many zeros since the last time I looked at my bank account. Do you have a lucky number? Well, Inter has that lucky number and that lucky number is the number one. Inter beat Genoa one nothing. But what's more important to know is that out of the 15 games that were played, Inter has scored a one nothing victory in eight of those games and only had one game where they didn't score that one goal. This one nothing victory by Inter takes them now one point ahead of Fiorentina in the standings in the Serie A in Italy. All I can say to that is chalk one up for Inter. The next crazy number that played a prominent role in Italian soccer this week is the number three, as four of the games played had a three in the scoreline. First of all, Fiorentina coming from three straight ties played Udinese who had won their last three games. Crazy as it may sound, but Fiorentina beat Udine, you guessed it, three nothing. Roma then traveled to Torino on the weekend. The scoreline there was 1-1, but the number three played a prominent role also, as Torino has come from three straight victories. And in Roma's last three games, get this, they only manned three shots on net in each one of those games. And in those three games, they had one penalty shot called against them. I tell you, number three is not lucky for these Romans. Sassuolo also found three goals to beat Sampdoria 3-1 and spoil Montella's home debut. On Sunday, Bologna continued their giant killer act by beating Napoli 3-2 in Bologna. And get this, Matteo Destro had two goals. In the last three games, he's got three goals. And finally, Atalanta beat Palermo 3-0. Now, this is a great segue because the number five is prominent in here and will be in the following items also. Because Atalanta, in the last five games, the games they won, they scored five goals and allowed zero. And, the, and in the last five games that they lost, they had five goals scored against them and didn't score any. I tell you, for these guys, five is either hot or cold. Now, the number five continues to play a prominent role also in the Juventus-Lazio game because Juventus had come from five straight victories and Lazio from five straight defeats. And the trend continued as Juventus beat Lazio to nothing. An interesting point about this is that Juve only had one shot on net. Now, how is that possible? They hit they had two goals, with one on net. It's the cursed own goal. And finally, as a testament to the competitiveness of Serie A, the top seven teams are separated by seven points. Now, my goal of the week this week comes from uh, Bologna and it's by Matteo Destro, who, as you can see, uh, manages to control this long ball over the top and then slots it into the net. You know, all this math talk kind of reminds me of grade nine, and that wasn't a good year. So I'm out of here. Thank you for watching. Please, if you're on Facebook, go to my Facebook page, Italian Soccer Addict, and give me a like. All right, ciao till next week.